G'day, Alex from Lumsden Agency. Welcome back to our monthly catch up. Now, of course we're gonna talk about how we've reacted to the coronavirus regulations on our industry and what that's doing to the market. But the long weekend's coming up, so I'm also here with Greg Watts from Lifestyle Building. He's gonna give you some tips on any DIY jobs you might have coming up for the weekend. So you got two minutes? So let's start with what we're doing around the coronavirus. In reality, we're not changing much, which is great for you as our clients. We don't need to rush to implement new strategies or procedures overnight. We're not experimenting with your property and ironing out kinks in our systems over the next few months. It's business as usual for us. We're doing three things. We're doing private inspections, because we have to. We're making sure everybody is pre-approved before we take them through a home, which is standard qualifying question anyway and we're making sure they watch our videos that we already do because that shows them the property and the area so they're not wasting anybody's time. The only thing that's changed is that there aren't big groups of people traipsing through your home every Saturday. We're limiting it to qualified buyers doing private inspections. Now, if you recall, I said I was gonna introduce Greg from Lifestyle Building. So Greg, talk to me about some things that people might be doing around the home during this long weekend period. Well, I would imagine at the current time people are thinking a lot more health consciously than they would. So in terms of DIY projects that specifically target that sort of thinking, you want to make sure your home's a healthy place to be. So you want to get rid of things like moulds and smells and dampness. They're all the things that can affect the immune system. Um, to combat that, things like mould protective paints are a good option. Getting rid of old damp carpets. Um, a lot of people are moving more towards tiles and timbered floors. Yeah. Anything that you have to be careful about around those two things? Timber floors, the coatings on the floor can be pumped, especially people with asthma. Once they start to degrade, um, polyurethanes can be uh, an aggravator. So, so what's you, a better coating? You want to stick to something like a, a water-based hydro-modified, they call it, a coating, um, and ensure that that's kept up and not left longer than, than, it sh than the manufacturer recommends. All sounds like very... Um very professional, trade-oriented things. Is there anything that I could do? You mentioned painting that we could do around our home ourselves. Yeah, it's probably not a great idea to take on anything that's maybe out of your comfort zone um, with the health care system as chopped up as it is. Um, you don't want to become one of those Google DIY statistics, so maybe stick to things like painting and things like that. <laughs> that's a really good point. You don't want to become one of those Google statistics. And if you're like me, I'm more likely to get the tradies in right from the start because they can make your home healthy. Or, if you want a new home, I'll find you one. So thanks for watching, see you next month.